let's take a look at this replay. It's 1100. Fells as the Aztecs picker versus Paulo as Franks. Probably didn't uh, Civ pick, maybe. Maybe he might have. But yeah, anyways, let's see how it goes. Let us speed through just a little bit here. So Franks, Aztecs. Franks is, like, what do you do against Frank Paladins as Aztecs? You cry. But, um, I mean, you could make Monkus, which I think is what we're going to be seeing here. And in the mid game, Pikemen are completely fine. Um, but yeah, you don't have Thumb Ring on your Crossbowmen. Not the greatest against Knights, which, I mean, they're okay, but. Uh, yeah, the Bucks will be really good. Uh, okay. Pretty nice base, though. Back gold. Stone's not too bad. You can just wall to the stone. We've got this wood line. Stone back here, too. You just wall this. Wall. You could even go here and then here and then just wall to here. It's probably probably the biggest walls you'd want to do, but not too bad. So, yep. Should be okay. Okay. This barracks is kind of awkward in the back. I, I would have probably put it in the front. Here, here. But, like, here is... Eh. Eh. Good wall here, I guess. Then he can sit here, though. But he's probably not going to go range units anyways, so it's, it's probably okay. But, well, maybe. It's not like Franks can't go crossbowman opening. All right. But, yeah. Ooh. Nice. You're a bit late sending the units forward, though. Like, we're we're still chilling here. I don't know why we're sending the militia down here. We need to be together. And this is why the barracks needs to be forward. You should have been at your opponent's base already. We're actually chilling. You, you, you should be here right now, but... Man, like, this guy's here. This guy, These guys are here. We need to use the select all military or something. Uh, Bill's running all over the place on this patch. I don't know. That's what it feels like. All right, he's going to wall. <laughs> he's got his own personal guard. All right, let's go. And this is going to do nothing, but if you had... If you had three militia with the eagle here, this is so strong. But with two militia with no eagle, I mean, he gave you the scout, but it should never happen like that. So you just got to keep your dudes together. Make sure that they're walking towards the opponent's base as soon as they can. Yeah, eagle's just going to die here. It's all good. You clicked up way too late, too. 24 up. Even if you're going men-at-arms. If you're going men-at-arms, you can go, like, 20 villager up. You were up on 24 villagers, which is just very late. Um, it's not like you can FC off of this. Oh, we got to keep that TC running here. TC. There we go. Uh, spear. If you're going to make a spear, it needs to be... Ch well, I guess you have enough spears to run around. But I, I would say that you want to have him more central, because that's kind of where he's going to send his dudes... This guy can probably come back, deal with this. That's probably what I would do. <laughs> he's, he's got wall guards. Guards for the walls. Nice. Uh, all right. Yeah, Frank. Frank scouts do be pretty good, but they're not that good. Oh, no. You obviously clicked them off to attack, and then they just decided to regroup instead of attack. Feels bad, man. Okay, you have way too many spears now. Oh my god, Frank's guy just makes two archers. Oof. Gonna be bad. Oh! He just had random three spears in the middle of nowhere. Oh, but he's leading you to the bears, though. The bears are on it. Oof! One dude mauled. Other dude getting mauled. Oh my... Oh, the micro! Um, I mean, going forward with the spears, how much damage are you gonna get? Only if he just isn't walled and you get in a wood line or something. These spears are not going to do very much. I mean, okay, he's going to give you his scouts. Oh, wait, no, you didn't micro properly. All right, happens. Okay. I mean, okay, I guess he just didn't wall. So you're going to be able to maybe force him off of these uh, farms. Actually, if you attack a farm, he can't work on the farm that, he's, that you're attacking. Okay, I mean, this is doing a little more damage than it should. But all right. You know what's pretty good against Spearmen? Using your villagers to attack them. That's also pretty good. 
So instead of ruining your economy by putting your, your dudes in the uh, TC, I would recommend Paolo to go for just killing them with his bills in this situation. All right, but we are up, and where are the monasteries gonna go down? Oh, three racks eagles. That's what you do every game. Oh, kill the farms, though. Kill the one HP farms. Jonah. That was two free farms. Oh, the militia, though. Oh, but he has upgrades. Aw, oh, but he can't take two. He caught, probably could have taken one, though. Oh, my God. We have eagle warrior in? No way. Fells has over 3K games with the strat. Yeah. He loves the Aztecs. I mean, those those Aztec eagle spam, It's you just get addicted to it. You're just like, I'm just going to make eagles, and I'm probably going to win the game, but sometimes I'm going to lose. That's how it goes, right? Oh, boy. I think Red just needed a wall to here. He, he had a perfect egg base, just with a little wall in the front. He walled the back of his base, but he didn't wall the front. And you're not going to attack from the back. You're going to attack the front, so... Makes sense to wall the front first. Um, but everything is gonna get wrecked here. Wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Because knights are pretty good against eagles when it's just pure eagles. So, yeah. Once, I think once red was up, you should have regrouped your guys, get like 20 of them together, and then go in. I don't think you want to be just sending them in like one by one like that when he is able to make knights. Sometimes you want to hit from the back. Yeah, but initially you hit from the front because it's faster. Unless you just know where the walls are or something. But yeah, anyways. This guy's good, though. This is costing him a bunch of vital time, even though he is going to die. Oh, he actually killed a bill, too. That's completely worth. Um, all right. Uh, let's see the monk action here. Oh uh, yeah, sometimes I read chat without uh, understanding humor, but uh, it's all good. Um, I'm pretty sure you can put it here. I see four tiles. Yeah, that, there's four by four right here. What is this? Also, it could have been even one tile down if you're gonna place on this side, but it could have gone here. Could have gone here, it would have been fine. Would have been fine. All right, but we're here to see the monk domination. Let's see what monks can do on 1100 elo. Is it gonna be good? Or is it gonna be... Yikes. How many conversions are we gonna get here? Fels is actually kind of falling off here in the economy. Getting the... The bajillion idle TC. So actually the game's pretty even now. And remember, Frank's gets free heavy plow. So Frank economy's gonna be good. We're just kind of chilling for a little too long here. I mean, could have put the pressure a long time ago. Definitely could have put the pressure here. Okay, chilling. You really don't want to let him get to the next age, but okay, so see, look. Maybe if we were constantly making units, here we don't need to pause, but we kind of stopped unit production there for a little while, too. If we had 100% efficiency on the barracks, then it's like, okay, yeah, we can keep making units. But the moment you stop making units is the time where you need to be attacking. And then, because uh, it's just a really good time, then you can invest your uh, res into other things or whatever. But there needs to be a point where it's like, okay, I have enough units, I need to go. Not supporting the monks with pikes, kind of strange, but I guess red is just not going to do anything. Is this weird, like... He thinks that this thing is being attacked on the mini-map. It's really annoying. Wait, if we go like this, is it gonna change it? No, it's like, it's just flashing. Alright, whatever. It's infinitely being attacked. Probably losing HP as we speak. Anyways. Oof! We had more than enough pikes to just attack, though. being attacked in blue point of view but but it's not anyways imperial age with nothing happening in castle age it's being attacked by the ghosts of the spears yeah exactly all right we're gonna have just pikeman monk which hey fair enough 
If the opponent just makes knights, he's gonna get wrecked. But imagine Franks going for one of his many options that are pretty okay against this. Imagine he goes champions. Imagine he goes throwing axemen. Imagine he goes hand cannoneers. Holy moly. He's going cavalier. All right, well you have the perfect counter to this. It's called get all of your units to go forward, patrol in, and then idle military micro. I'm assuming you practiced it a bit. It's pretty crazy. Gotta get everything together though. Um. Okay, we're waiting for the upgrade. Sounds good. Actually, Theocracy takes a while to, to make. I didn't realize it, but it's actually a pretty slow upgrade. Um. Oh, he is going chemistry, so he might add hand cannons. Okie dokie. If you don't full commit on it, though, they just get converted by the Monkus. Population's looking good, even though the eco's not looking as good as the opponent's. It's all good, though. Good hand cart. Oh, um, I mean, yeah, I probably would have put it here, though. It's a bit less awkward. This is super awkward, because you don't have, you can't move down this way, and then you don't have the hill for your trebs. He just put his thing on the low ground though, so it's maybe okay, but I mean, you just you just put it on the hill here and then you push from this hill. It's pretty good. Ideally, you get this hill next. You like push this, then you get this hill. He should have probably put his thing here, but look, like you're on the low ground now. That's not good. But, oh man, Garland Wars Pikes? Those things are gonna ting, ting, ting on these guys and they're all gonna die. All right, just send him in. Just go. What are we waiting for? We're waiting for nothing. You're just waiting for him to get enough throwing axemen where he can just stop you. All right, this is gonna be a domination. Nah, just go. We're waiting way too long now. Oh, let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, good conversions. Oh my God, we converted half his army. Gave up raiding and moved forward his army raids me. Gonna go in late him. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I feel like you could have attacked way earlier. Are you using the um, the idle military micro here at all? Skirms don't do any. I don't know why we're making skirm upgrade. That must have been a misclick, right? Skirms don't counter anything that he's he's gonna ever make, unless he's gonna make pan cannons, but he's not. Fletching. Thank you too much, Rez. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you could make e Elite Eagle Warrior at this point. That castle was just a big mistake on the low ground, though. Should have just been here. Like, actually just put it here, and then you take his castle, he doesn't even kill yours, and then you win. But, both players have fully boomed eco, so we will see. But I really like, I like Franks for a while here. You're going Arb, okay, makes sense. Arb is good. Once Franks runs out of gold, it's gonna be not so good for Franks, but honestly, all he needs to do is just click Paladin, make 60 Paladins, and just attack. Probably gonna be so good. Okay. Skirms do nothing, though. Skirms are actually worse than just having more Vils. I'm not sure if you know this, but Throwing Axemen are infantry units, so Skirmishers don't do bonus damage against them. So, yeah, the Skirmishers are actually useless here. I use Idle Military, get them in bunches whenever I get in Shift Q. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, I like to do that in some situations as well. It's just with Theocracy. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, I guess you just didn't patrol properly there. But honestly, Garland War Pikes are still okay. They're not great though. Not re not really against the throwing axemen, honestly. Yeah, I think you just need to patrol instead of right click on like down here. Needs blast. Oh, no blast furnace. Ah, yeah. That's a pretty big upgrade. Anyways, I think we're kind of dead now. But maybe not. It just depends on how fast Red's going to push. If Red just gets a castle here and starts trebbing stuff down, it's going to be pretty strong. All right, I'm gonna leave it on uh, this view. I need to heat up some water for some uh, 
some lunch. My stomach is actually like hurting because it's I'm so hungry. Alright, am I safe to assume that we saw all of the action on this one screen and there were no raids during this time? Because it's 1100 ELO? I'm assuming that they were just fighting in this area. <laughs> Alright, nice. You guys caught all the action. Wait, that's Red's Castle! What? What are, th what are the dudes doing under this castle? What is this? I'm so confused. be 10k gold yeah that's a lot of gold I mean it looks like we're just making trash units which you do have better trash units than him yeah switching to eagles I mean Franks is gonna have a hard time against eagles here champions do be kind of good though Is there not a castle here? Oh, it's a it's a capture age bug. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fair enough.
Um, clicking the pikes on the castle. Not my favorite play. TBH. The Eagles arrive. Let's go. How many racks are we on? 15. All right. Fair enough. Pretty good. How many racks are we using? What are the Qs like? They're like non-existent, right? I mean, just, just max Q all of the racks with Eagles, and then you win the game, right? Just select all your racks and just shift Q up like 200 Eagle Warriors, and you win. Oh yeah, no Blast Burner still. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't see that ever coming in. Let's go! Tired him out. Oh, another bugged castle. Well, it happens. It's just a capture age thing. It's all good. We're slightly ahead. It really comes down to spending the resources a little bit better early. Just You just have to spend, right? Opponent didn't really make the right units here. Looks like he never went hand cannons or champions or anything. This has to do with the combined fog of war. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Nice. You definitely know how to get the positions later on in the game compared to your opponents. Castle Age was a little passive, though. You could definitely attack a little earlier. Um, but yeah, well played. Always nice to see some uh, some epic long games.